Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back. Today's topic is respect for teachers and books. Seeking knowledge is obligatory for all Muslims. A teacher is a person who helps us to seek this knowledge. In Islam, learning and education are very important. A teacher is a person who not only shapes you but also grooms you, looks after you, teaches you everything you need to know and loves you like your own parents. Starting from a really young age, a teacher grasps the student's finger and takes him or her to the point where he or she is successful. Doctors, engineers, scientists, etc. all achieve their dreams due to the politeness, strictness, punishment and love of their teachers. Any person who teaches us even a single useful thing is our teacher and we must respect him or her. It is not necessary that a person who teaches you in educational institute just he or she is your teacher. There are many people in your life who teaches you good things for example your grandparents who may give you a piece of advice plays their role of a teacher. The best teacher is the one who teaches us how to live by the rules of Allah. So also teacher is the one who takes opportunity to connect his students with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by making a connection between Islamic teachings and everyday life in class. As a result, teacher nurtures children's iman effectively. Our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us to respect our teachers. Just as our parents teach us and look after us at home, our teachers teach and guide us at school. So in Islam, a teacher has the highest rank among all professions. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has given great emphasis on respecting teachers. You can see the importance of teacher as once Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was passing by the place there was two groups one group was learning something from a teacher whereas the other group was busy in praying Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam joined the group which was learning from a teacher This shows the importance of teacher in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam life We must respect and obey our teachers, say salam to them when we see them. Give them a better place to sit. And pay attention to them when they are talking and not interrupt them. If you are walking with them, we must not rush in front of them or push them. We must help them if they need our help. This is how we must respect our teachers. as the role of teacher is really significant in islam the prophets as well as allah teach us to be obedient and listen to our teachers in order to be successful in life this means if the student is obedient and respect his or her teacher allah assist him in achieving his or her goals this is the main reason why we should always respect our teachers and pay attention to what he or she says now let's discuss respect for books Books are written by educated people. They write down what they know in books. We educate ourselves by reading books. Books teach and guide us. We must respect them as well. Books helps us to understand things. They educate and entertain us. Books are our best friends as they inspire us to do great things in life and our comes our failure. and we learn a lot from good books just like a good friend the best book is the holy quran which is allah's book and the first lesson of quran is read in the name of allah this means that allah wants us to read and to understand it we must be pure and clean when we touch and read the quran we must keep it in a clean place friendship with good books makes us a good person so the holy quran is the best book we also need to make it our best friend as it guides us in every aspect of life 
It tells us what is right and what is wrong and how to spend our lives as per the will of Allah. Allah wants us to read Holy Quran and to understand it. So we must be careful that we are clean and pure and we must have wudu before touching our Holy Quran. We must look after our school books and cover them. We must not tear our books and throw them around. If we see a book or a written paper on the ground, we must pick it up and put it in its proper place. Books are of many types. Some of the books inspire you. Some books are given a moral of life. It also improves your language and vocabulary. Sometimes books bring you tears and makes you laugh. Quran is the best book which inspires you and teaches us the best lesson of our life. So we must respect our books and we must read them as our best friends. For more videos, please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel.